and Willie has many interests. Today we will see another side of him. This is speech number six on local variety. Let's welcome Willie. Thank you. White guy, black guy, Mexican guy is sitting in the boat. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, doesn't it? Sounds like a joke I heard when I was in the sixth grade. Well, this is not really a joke, but it's part of an experience that I had that, that uh, it was somewhat of a recondite experience. <laughs> An artistic moment that I had in my life once upon a time. Before I get into my story, I want to give you a little background on how I came to uh, decide upon this particular subject for my speech. Last week, I went to my son's poetry reading. And the way it's set up is, I'm kind of tired, I worked out this morning a little bit, I'm kind of out of breath. <laughs> but I, so I went to my, my son's poetry reading last week. And the way it's set up is, they get to class, and they, all the kids go up on stage, and they recite these poems that they've been practicing to, you know, to demonstrate to their parents, right? And before the students started talking, the, the dean of the school, started talking about the value of poetry and he started talking about how many how many poems each child would learn at the end of the year and then he said well when they leave the school they'll have this whole this whole uh, uh, repertoire of, of poems that they can take with them throughout their life right and I know this to be true because, you know, when I was in school, I think we all practiced or studied poetry of some kind. Mm -hmm. And I always enjoyed it. Yeah. Always enjoyed poetry and poetry reading. <clears throat> I expressed an artistic moment once, and I'd like to share that with you. A friend of mine had recently purchased a boat, and he invited two of us. You know, we organized a fishing and camping trip over the weekend. And <clears throat> I'm not much of a fisherman, but I've always enjoyed camping when I was a kid, well into my uh, early teens, I went camping. And so it was also an experience to get out of the city. So we all went camping, and that Saturday morning, when we launched the boat, the setting was beautiful. Right, doing no small part to the glow of the sun rising in the east. <clears throat> there were high cliffs on either side of us as we slowly glided down the inlet. Okay. Can we have it for Somebody. I thought it was about soccer. And <clears throat> there was a duck flying, you know, very low uh, uh, across the top of the water, about a foot high, with just less wind resistance. He was just gliding, gliding. And I looked up overhead, and there was a flock of geese in perfect formation. There were animals scurrying about, doing their daily morning activities. It was quiet, and I was just enjoying the silence of the moment. I stared straight ahead, looking at the beauty of the water, and I heard myself say the following. I've known rivers. I've known rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when the dawn was young. <clears throat> I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and I raised the pyramids above it. I have known rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. 
At that point, I felt the two guys look at me. And I continued. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I saw the muddy bottom as it turned golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient rivers, ancient as the world, and as old as the flow of human blood through human veins. I've known rivers, ancient, dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. It took about 20 seconds after I finished before anybody said anything. And one of the guys commented, what was that? I waited about five seconds, and I looked at him. I winked at the guys, smiled, took a sip of my coffee, and looked back at the water. Anything else would ruin the moment. <laughs> I will close by saying, support arts in the schools. Thank you. <laughs>